Hey, what's up? Hey, today uh, we're gonna add some four inch recess, uh, AKA pot lights into the ceiling. And I've got Link and Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn Grace, Bro Grace Long, she's gonna help us today. And uh, we'll give you some step by steps on how to get this thing done. All right, as you, uh, this is the main. Whoa, that wasn't a fart, folks. That was just the, uh... he didn't fart. It sounded like a fart. <laughs> Right? <laughs> the current situation right now, we got this very dim light and it's absolutely terrible at night time. You can't see a thing, right Lincoln? No, I don't like it! So, so uh, the, uh, the solution are these uh, really nice side lamps and whatnot. And uh, we do have a walk-in closet with that light. So we're gonna add eight recessed uh, pot lights. So the temperature is 3000 K folks, that's a good number. This, you don't want 2700 because it's that orange color. And uh, 5000 is the um, commercial color, it's a store. So 3000 is a nice warm white and it looks fabulous inside a home. So, I want to show them mine. Okay, beautiful. There you go. Right. Yes, it's a beautiful light, but your room is a mess, buddy. So we added four lights Daddy. here. Well, right. I'm trying to see my room. And he still has a fan. Yeah, Brooklyn's gonna show her room now. Go ahead, Boo-Boo. My room is fabulous. It's fabulous. Let's go. Oh, it's yes, clean. very clean, so very bright, as you can see. Let's get to work, guys. No messing around. Yeah, no messing around. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> one is to determine the placement of the light. So there are truss up in the uh, ceiling. It's not the same as wall, which is every 16 inches. I believe it's uh, every two feet, this truss lands. And this is a stud finder. Lincoln, what does a stud finder do? I'll be find wires and where the more as a duplicate. Yeah, so we want to make sure we avoid any block or wood. Yeah, you can put a light right here. Right. I already know, I've already determined before because based on the layout of the hallway here, that light and over here, we're cleared for 30 by 30. We're gonna run it across three this way, another three that way, and another three this way. So, um, but if you don't know, you gotta determine where it is first. So I'm gonna go up and gonna measure 30. So 30 this way. Do a little mark and then 30 inches this way. A mark here, and then we find the X marks the spot. And I'm gonna put a, uh, a tape there this way. I can review it after and see if I like the layout. Right now, this is the layout of the room. We've got it at 174. Five by 154. We want to determine the exact middle of here and the exact middle of there. Hey Siri, what is 154 divided by 2? 154 divided by 2 is 77. 77 is dead middle. So I'm going to go back up and measure 77 middle. And once we get the middle of that, we will determine if there is a stud in between. And we say 77 is right here. 30 off the wall. X marks the spot, and we just need to determine that there is clearance. We get the stud finder, and she's cleared, no beeps. So we are going to mark that right there, 77. Perfect. We got seven lights evenly distributed all around the edge of the wall. And now we will be cutting the holes. It's a very simple process. Here is a four and one quarter inch hole saw. And I'm going to use the box that the light came in. We're gonna drill it just a little bit. So this way it will catch some dust, actually a lot of dust. And then as when we cut everything out, we will pop in the light first and then we will finish off the rest of the step, which Lincoln is very excited for. All he wants to do is go into the attic. He's like, yeah, daddy, that's nice. Everything else is boring. I just want to go into the attic. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. What? Really? I just want to go in the attic just to feel like what it'll feel like if when my feet are in that pink stuff. The pink stuff. I, I think Insulation. 
I think it'll feel like cotton me stepping on cotton candy. Okay, so you just want to feel it. All right, so let us uh, let's make sure. But I don't want to have it on my hands, or else get super itchy. It's super itchy. Okay, let's finish and then we'll go up in the attic. So here's my rig. I've got my whole saw cutter. I'm gonna find my X. Did you hear that? Lincoln says he needs to get his safety goggles, so. That's my dust collection, see all the dust? Anyways, it all came out. But uh, it's gonna keep it from my eyes, so. Anyways, people, totally forgot. Safety goggles, you gotta protect yourself. I have a mess somewhere. Uh-oh. Um, I usually wear glasses, so I'm gonna get my glasses on. Lincoln's gonna get his goggles. You gotta do that. Safety first, people. Safety first. See that perfectly cut hole? I insert my wire, pull back the clip, the clip and because the hole is four and a quarter inch and that is four inches it just sits there and we are good to go that's how simple this process is important part about uh doing any project is to make sure that your work area is clean at all times all right we are complete the uh Recess light installation. It looks beautiful. It looks evenly spaced. And now the reason why I chose to uh, put it in first is because of the loose insulation that falls out out of the uh, the ceiling. And uh, by doing so, we just tuck everything in, secure it, and then now when I go to wire it, I'm going to pre-wire, determine the distance between the lights, and then we just. Uh, Daisy chain it together and then bring it up to the attic and quickly install it for quick, easy, clean, best results. Hey Link, how you doing buddy? Just trying to get it out, right? Lincoln's working hard here as my cleanup man. We're going to pre-assemble our boxes um, and then we're going to insert it. So I've already determined the lights are four feet. Uh, apart and then we're going to show you steps on how to assemble this so linking with your slot You're going to break that open put it in twist it All right, we got it. I'm going to take one of these connectors. Uh, they made it more convenient. They're just plastic now. And this keeps the wires from falling out. So go ahead push push the connector in Lincoln Okay, it should be very simple like this like this, there you go, now it's in. And then we insert our wire, push it, push it, good boy. Push it, good, this way, there you go, good. And now we're gonna strip it. Well, this is 14 too, meaning 14 is the gauge of the wire. So, yeah, what you do is strip the wire and you reveal it and then there are numbers in these teeth here. If you can see right there, you've got 12, you got 12, 10, 14, so 14 is the gauge here, like that, that's the it, so when you, about a quarter inch, all you do is press and pull, and then you st successfully strip your wire without damaging the uh, the copper inside as a conductor, so um, that's how you strip it, and when you're done, you insert it into these little uh, insert things, again, no barrette, no twisting, no nothing, all you got to do is just insert it into there and it sticks. All right, that is the last box. Um, and we have here all of our wires ready to go upstairs. Yay, yeah, I'm too excited! Very important safety rules when you go up in the attic. First of all, hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's 11 degrees right now. Okay, it's 11 degrees Celsius uh, up in the attic. It's not 11 degrees. Up in the attic is almost two times more. So it's about 20 degrees up there. And the second thing is you have to cover your face with something. Yeah, you gotta cover your face because we're breathing um, fiberglass. You don't want it in your nose. You, it is, it's gonna hurt. And very important, long sleeve. Because what happens is when you get hot up in the attic, your pores open up. And when your pores open up, um, the fiberglass goes in and it hurts a lot. Anyways, we're gonna go up and uh, we're gonna go install.
I'm gonna switch to my phone because it has a light on it. Okay, bye. Okay, so yeah, we got this uh, awesome maze. Oh, look, Link. This is what you're looking for. All right. Okay. Go ahead, plug that in. You, we got to step on the wood. We can travel anywhere we like as long as our feet is planted on the wood, then we are safe. And uh, this, the process is really simple. We're gonna look for, reach down into the holes and everywhere there uh, we drill from below, we just twist the connector on. So Lincoln, watch your back though. See this? See all of those nails? Yeah. That's from the roof, okay? So don't get too far up. So right now I'm determining where the, the box is, right? So right here, that's where it is. And from downstairs, I've inserted my screwdriver right there. I've uh, got to insert my wire. So with all this mumbo jumbo, we're going to look for our end piece. Here's our end piece right there. Huh? Insert that. What was that sound? That's my uh, sound was the screwdriver. So now we're going to go that way and then start the process of finding oh all my of our boxes all around until we get to the end. So seven boxes we're looking for. Okay. Daddy, what? it's like trying, it's like Steven share that they're finding like mystery boxes. Right, right, right. Okay. So see this? I'm just taking a connector, popping it in, twisting it. Voila, all done. Put the insulation back. Go over here. Reach another four foot, look for a connector, and then we keep doing it until we finish our line. Lincoln find it. Ah, oh, you got it. There you go. This is the last connector. Did it. Did it. Okay. Get up. Stay in the wood. And then we're just gonna put this insulation back and then we're done. is the connection to the uh the switch and then this is our line right here now we're taking a shower because i'm so itchy yeah like it's so itchy he's gonna take a shower and then i'm gonna finish off the project okay and then i just gotta splice it connect it and then we're good look at my worker right now <laughs> this is the life of a uh, an apprentice come on buddy come 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 let's, let's see the final results here what I was saying before my uh, this camera died, not every apprentice gets the luxury of taking a shower yeah. after he got uh, itchy after the installation. Anyways, uh, we are finally done and I want to show you the end results here. All right, Link, why don't you, uh, you try each turn on. Go ahead, see what happens here. Wow, let there be light. So I just uh, finished installing a fader. Um, I want a fader, my You want to get a fader? Okay, so off and on, and uh, we still kept the uh, ceiling fan, and the ceiling fan is controlled remotely, like so. Press one, speed, and then it still has light off and on. If I want it faster, because it's hotter, we go three, and yeah. So, Link, what do you think about this? Awesome. Awesome. Okay, one more thing before uh, before we finish. The client's gonna get home, AKA your mommy. You think this is presentable? Yeah. No, so we're gonna do a quick cleanup, good scrub down of everything, mop this place, get it all nice and clean so when she gets home, she's gonna be wild. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Brooklyn, you wanna show your, uh, your client? Yeah. Okay, Mommy, go. You do the tour, brother. I just took a, sh I took a shower like... You did? Yeah. Okay, let's roll. Because I went here, up here. in the attic. Wow. Don't okay. let the thing go. You can not see... Close your eyes. Yeah. Okay. Close your eyes. Mommy. So excited for a glamour to do this. Do, 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 do. Open your eyes. Wow. Wait. Okay, now eyes. you got to turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> Mommy, you yes. should be very happy 
He's already he pulled the dust and garbage off of this floor. You're right, he did. He did. And Lincoln went all the way in the attic. Thank you, Daddy. All right, that concludes the project for today. The reason why we did it today, even though it's a weekend, it's a Saturday, and the kids just want to play, the weather was uh, perfect for it because it wasn't too hot. Because we didn't want to go in the attic because tomorrow is 25 degrees. It would have been very, very hot. So we want to get it done today. So I hope you like it. What do you tell everybody? Do work, people. Do work. Do all your work. I also want to give a shout out to uh, the electricians out there. So a lot of the things you saw me do, well, it's based on my own knowledge and whatnot. But if you want professional electrical work done, I'm giving a shout out to Christopher's Electric and my good friend Terry Chevel's Day Off. He's an amazing electrician. They're here in the city of Hamilton. So um, I hope you like the project and uh, tune in next time for some more really cool stuff. What do you guys think of this place? Awesome. Lincoln, how, how do you feel, man? You you did all this. Amazing. Eh? Amazing. I feel amazing finding one of these. Yes, you I did. think it was that. I Daddy. think it was that one. Yes, Brooklyn. Daddy, I want to do something. Show me. I love to be one. Yo, Link. You little butt monkey. Come here. Come here. <laughs> you want to bully people? Huh? Huh? <laughs> baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. The floor is lava. The floor is lava. The floor is lava. The floor is lava. Ah, crunch. I'm not on the floor. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark, do, 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 do. coming after you.